All right, guys. Um, so today we are showing off. Well, we are comparing the AGL and the Int Metal Cooler. Uh, as you probably know, Int Metal Cooler got an easy A. I wouldn't say well, good, semi recently. <laughs> Uh, not super recently, but he did get an easy A, and he's a very good unit. AGL Metal Cooler, as we all know, is a category leader. He is a very decent unit, uh, but the main difference, the difference between them is that Int Metal Cooler is a really good support type unit that actually gives himself a good attack and defense boost. Um, so, like, he'll be giving the whole rotation 30% attack, 40% defense, and 3 key, while he also has, like, a 1.5 million in attack stat. So it's really, really good. Um, and then moving on. Uh, this metal cooler, also I should mention, this metal cooler is 55%, the other one is rainbowed. So that that is another thing just to keep in mind. But this metal cooler, uh, he does debuff attack and defense, that is very good. Uh, he does have a very good leader skill, a good category leader skill. Um, and he can hit decently hard, and he has a giant transformation. So it's like, I don't know. I would definitely like int metal cooler better, but this guy, it's not like he's useless everywhere, right? Because like... On top of like this guy having some category teams that N1 does not have, um, just debuffing in like some difficult events could be very very useful. Um, his leader skill will never not be good. Um, so with all of that being said, we are going to hop into a Resurrected Warriors team with Int Metal Cooler first. We will be back in a second. All right, here we are on the Resurrected Warriors team. Now this is actually a rotation that I run sometimes. Now, like just look at this because this Metal Cooler is giving support to the LR Metal Cooler. And the LR Metal Cooler is just a pretty strong free-to-play unit. So let's just see how this looks. Um, his defense here, the support type unit, his defense here is 92,000, which is very, very good. Uh, that is one thing to keep in mind. So let's, like, remember, because he has a support type unit, everyone here who attacks, their attack stat will be higher because of this Metal Cooler. So don't just look at this Metal Cooler's attack stat and compare it to AGL Metal Cooler's attack stat. Because even though this one's rainbowed, the AGL Metal Cooler will have a higher attack stat when he's fully built up. But what are you going to do? Just because, like, support type units aren't built to be, like, super strong on their own. I mean, sure, this guy gives himself, like, in total, like, 80% attack and 90% defense. So, like, there's 1.2 million with no support other than himself. That is a very good attack stat for a support type unit. And his defense was really, really good for a support type unit. So it's, like, pretty much we're comparing a pretty good category leader to just one of the best support type units in the game. Just both of them happen to be named Metal Cooler. Um, I mean, what are you gonna do? They just decided to do, do that. Um, and one thing I'm kind of upset about is that, like, so you saw the other Metal Cooler has, like, a giant transformation. They could have, like, made that, they could have named them differently. Like, I get why they didn't, but, like, they could have. So, like, the AGL one could have been Metal Cooler, and then, like, in parentheses, giant form. I don't know, because Metal Cooler Core is already what the int one is called, like the int LR that we're running. Um, his name is Metal Cooler Core because there's like multiple metal coolers. So I don't know if they would really do that. Because that LR had just like recently came out. Oh, this is so sad. We don't have physical kid boots full passive here. Okay, I'm gonna keep physical kid boo around. Because I do want to get this rotation with um, like physical kid boost full passive. Now, hold up. Just real quick. This is just me being unprofessional. He doesn't have big bad bosses, does he? Okay, that's good. Like, it's not good in general, but it makes my job a lot easier. Because units who have big bad bosses and, like, are on the Resurrected Warriors team, it's very, very difficult to get their maximum attack stat. Because it always involves being next to Kid Buu, while also, like, getting... So, like, Kid Buu to get his full passive active, you need to be above 50% HP, right? Um, but the only problem with that, alright, here I'm gonna heal, I'm gonna give us a Senzu, and then I'm also going to pop an Ox King, just because I want to have Physical Kid Boost full passive active, because next rotation I think will be, um, Int Metal Cooler's best rotation probably, um, it depends on how much links like, play into it, because his best rotation might be next to Physical Kid Boo and the LR Int Cooler. Uh, but, I mean, we got that last turn, and we just didn't get Physical Kid Boost full passive, which does suck. I should have paid more attention. We could have just used an Ox King on that, like, last turn before that, and we could have gotten it, but what are you going to do? Okay. I wish, like, <laughs> I would pay more attention, because in showcases, it would be just much better 
if I just got normals on rotations where I'm not showing off a unit. Like, for example, in this showcase, if just every time I went to the other rotation, I didn't get supers. Oh, there's no links here with Metal Cooler, but he does have a lot of support. So, <laughs> I think I might want to get that same rotation I got last time again. Uh, the Int LR Cooler. Yeah, 1.56. I definitely want to get that um, other one again. And just because they'll be sharing a lot of links. <clears throat> but still, that was not a bad number considering he is a support type unit. Uh, there's Super Saiyan 2 Bardock. I know I didn't bring it up. I don't know why I didn't bring it up. Uh, but the Super Saiyan 2 Bardock there was giving 30% attack. So, I just think maybe the links will be a little more beneficial. I guess we'll see. I want to get that rotation one more time and then we're going to cut over to AGL Metal Cooler on pretty much this exact same team. Uh, maybe a few slight differences. Uh, but one thing about the AGL Metal Cooler is his will be a little different. Because, like, this Int Metal Cooler is, like, as good as he's going to be on turn one. Whereas that AGL Metal Cooler needs to get hit, I think it's eight times to build up all of his attack. Because the way he works, he gets 80% attack and defense at the start of turn. And then he gets 10% additional attack for every attack received up to an additional 80%, I'm pretty sure. Um, I might be a little wrong with a few of the numbers, but I'm pretty sure it does need to get hit a lot, is what I do remember. So, I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we can actually, we can test this out. We can see how much he gets here, uh, just being linked up with Golden Frieza with Kid who's full passive active. So last time he was at like 1.56, but that was with absolutely zero links active. Okay, nice job Kid Buu not finishing, and then 1.38. So no, not bigger there, but I do want to get the rotation just with um, LR Metal Cooler. Just to be sure. I want to get his best attack stat. And it's not like... I know I've already said this, but it, I I feel like I need to emphasize this. It's not like his attack stat is like the end-all be-all of his unit. Because he's making the entire rotation as a whole better. Um, most of his passive, I'm pretty sure, he just gives to extreme types. But he does give the attack to super types. So he doesn't give any defense or key to super types. But he does give the 30% the attack. So... That is one thing to keep in mind. He's always giving attack to everyone. I don't know who that is. <laughs> okay, uh-oh. I swear, if I'm stupid. How much did he do? Okay. Whew. I I almost thought I was stupid for a second there. Um, so we're just going to put Metal Cooler in this front slot and see what his attack stat is here. We do have physical kid boost passive. Through no fault of my own. Like, last rotation, like... Super Saiyan 2 Bardock probably should have done more than that. Alright, 1.52. So around 1.5 is where he maxes out on this team. Um, we're going to swap over to this pretty much exact same team with AGL Metal Cooler. We'll be back in a second. 3, 2. Alright, here we are with AGL Metal Cooler. Um, first rotation. So he is at 72,000 defense. That is as high as his defense will ever get. Because when he gets attacked, um, I did check his passive, he can get hit 7 times for an additional 70% attack. So, I mean, that is very good. He will be hitting very hard, even just with mine being 55%. He'll be hitting harder than the Int one, who was rainbowed. But, he will be getting no extra defense. He only gets attack when he's hit. Um, but his lowering of attack is very useful in like difficult events. So here he's under a million, not great. But I'm pretty sure the way it works is when he gets hit, it multiplies into, like, his start of turn attack buff. So, like, here his attack goes up, here his attack goes up. So, for the next few turns, I will just be kind of putting him wherever he gets the most hits, as long as it's not in the last slot, because obviously I wouldn't want to float him off. Although his best rotation was right here. Um, so I'm definitely going to float off Kid Buu. I was curious what I was going to do with Bardock here. I guess I'll leave him in the front slot. He has type advantage. I shouldn't need to worry about him too much. What is Freeze's attack stat going to be here? Because he has 30% attack support. Well, he has 80% attack support is what I meant. It's not what I said at all. Uh, 1.9 with only first battle active is actually a pretty good attack stat, considering he only gets 80% attack. Reminder, this Frieza and the Metal Cooler have the same start of turn attack buff. Uh, it's just my Frieza is like 90%, my Cooler is 55%, so it's not fair to really compare them. Okay, great. I can put Cooler in the front here. And then he should have gotten hit with four attacks after these. So I'm pretty sure he'll only need to get hit three more times after this. He is getting supered, which does suck. This will hurt a lot. 
you know, 120k is not great. 1.2 million with no support, it's pretty good. Um, and cons especially considering he can get hit like three more times and get more attack. He's definitely a good unit, but it's like, here's the thing. Int Metal Cooler is great for the whole team. He makes the whole team overall better, whereas like AGL Metal Cooler, he's pretty much in it for himself. Like, Int Metal Cooler is a team player, AGL Metal Cooler is like, a kind, of, kind of a douchebag. Like, he just, it's all about him. <laughs> um, so we're going to float off Bardock here. I guess it doesn't really matter if we get... Eh. Yeah, I am going to use an item here. <laughs> just because I really want to get Physical Kid with full passive active next turn. Do I need to use another? I will. Just because Bardock in the last slot, uh, he has type disadvantage, so he can probably get hit pretty hard. If I would have got a super with Angel, Golden, Frieza in the middle, yeah, we definitely could have finished this. Why didn't I do that? Additional? No, please don't super. Okay, the, that additional super, whenever the enemy supers you, there's kind of a pause in game for a second, and I really thought that was him supering me. I would have been so upset <laughs> if we dodged a normal and then we got supered. Um, so, what should I do here? Because if I leave him in the middle, he gets a lot more attack links active. Actually, no, he doesn't at all. He gets a total of zero attack links, it says. Okay, cool. But he's not going to get... So he gets a key link, but he's not... Whatever. So I guess we're not getting him a super here. Because, I mean, like, we can't. So he is going to get hit one time. So then after this, he's only going to need to get hit two more times if he finishes this off. Okay, so now... Oh, additional. So 1.7 there. He did go up a lot. But he still can get hit two more times to raise his attack. And there he was at like 1.9. Okay. That is pretty good. Uh, one thing I haven't talked about much, he does also heal. He does a lot of the intangibles. He heals, he lowers attack and defense. Um, and I mean, that's, that's actually about it. He would be such a better unit if every time he got hit, he raised his attack and defense. Because uh, the way it is now, like he's not bad defensively but also he's not like super top tier defensively which i mean it's it's not great especially considering the support type unit most people i know there are some people who just don't run support type units and like it's your prerogative to do whatever but most people would rather run int metal cooler just because like defensively int metal cooler is more sound like he has more defense than the agl metal cooler because he doesn't get that extra defense when he attacks um what do we do here? <laughs> so, we got the full passive from Kid Buu, but here's the thing. AGL Cooler does not have his full passive. So I guess we're just going to see this rotation with this amount of his passive active. Um, I don't want to use Icarus's, but that's all I brought, and I don't want to die. So we're going to pop an Icarus. I'm only going to use one. One Icarus is enough for us to live, and then next turn I'm probably going to have to heal, because Bardock here has very little defense. Okay, no, he's taking double digits. I didn't think he would take double digits even with the Icarus. All right, let's see what his attack stat is here. 1.96. Yeah. See, like... So we could get 20% more attack from his passive, which... So he was at 1.96 there. That would have probably gotten him to maybe 2.1. 2.1 is about his limit, I would say, on this rotation at least, which is decent. Now... I would like to see him go giant just for the sake of it, just so we could say we saw everything in this video. But, like, we're going through this event so slowly, we need to get hit pretty hard to get that. But next rotation, like, it, at the very least, I do want to get his full passive active, so we're going to keep on going for a little bit. I think Angel Golden Frieza should hopefully finish this off here. Please. 2 million attack stat with type advantage for sure. Okay. Boop. 2 million crit. Yeah, okay. Bye bye. Alright, so here. Come on. Uh, I'm gonna put him in the front slot. So let's see what he's at here with 30% attack support. He's got more links active this time. But his full passive is not yet active. Well, it's, it's still not active, I should say. I don't think we're going to die here. We have very low HP on this team. Uh, so 1.5 million. That is with some attack support. Also not his full passive. But his full passive, like as you can tell, it takes a while to get activated. Because we've been 
sitting here playing with him for like probably seven minutes. Okay, now he's got his full passive. Yeah, okay. I wish there was a text that would have like retroactively updated. Like, at the bottom where it, in red it says their attack stat, I wish it would have updated when we got like those. Actually, I think it did. <laughs> did he do 1.7? I don't think he did. I think he did 1.5. So 1.7 is where he's at. Uh, is this? Okay, yeah, this is a death. It's not death. Okay. Um, so next rotation, I think we might actually transform with him. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if it's, I think it's like a 50% chance when you get below 50% HP or something. Um... Oh no, it just happens when your HP is below 50%. It's like Tapion into Harutagarn. Okay. So next rotation, we should be transforming. As long as we don't die here. If we die here, I might just finish off the video. Because, like, I mean, who needs to see a giant transformation? But also, like, it's part of his card. And we're comparing the cards. So I would like to just get everything. Okay. I'm not sure if his passive... I don't think it does. I was going to say I'm not sure if his passive is active when he goes giant. So, like, if the more he was attacked before he went giant, the harder he would hit when he was giant. I don't think that's how this works. Now, one thing is, this animation is really cool. And now he's... Mm, giant! Kind of scary cooler! Um, now, one thing about this guy, he is just a normal, like, giant ape rage type unit. He's not like LR Super Baby 2 or LR Rosé, um, where they get an extra key for every key sphere they get. So, like, you're going to run into this issue here. Where it's like, you need to get six key spheres if you want it to super ever. So, there's going to be a lot of times, like, if you get this out, you're not going to be super attacking. Uh, just because getting six key, it's not great. I mean, there are some teams where it's like, giant form units really do excel. It's because, like, the leader skill will give them four key. Which, like, four key from each leader skill is really, really good for giant form units. Because then you only need, like, four key to super. Which is much, much easier than 6 key. Um, but after this attack set that we get from this 3rd super, I think we are just going to finish it up. I say this 3rd super, this 3rd attack. None of them were supers up until this point. Uh, so 1.39 million. That is pretty good damage. Now, do take this whole video with a grain of salt. Like, I'm not claiming these two are on equal, like... I don't even know what the word I was going for there. Um, on equal grounds, I guess. Because, like, this metal cooler... I do want to get this attack stat right here, actually, uh, but I can't, because his key links suck. So I can put him in the middle here, but I think Angel Golden Frieza might finish it off. I hope he doesn't. Um, but I want to get this atta attack stat right here. So this is going to be with no support, but with his full passive. And then after this, I think I'm going to finish it up. Um, and whatever, we'll get the full Dokkan mode just because we can. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, got them all. It went so slow, I almost missed a few, to be honest. All right, so his attack stat here is at two million without support. That is very, very good. Um, uh, I mean, I don't really have anything else to add. Both metal coolers are pretty good. If you guys did enjoy this video, please consider to leave a like, a comment, subscribing to the channel. My name is Blacharu, and I'll see you guys next time.